Hey, good morning everybody, Gray. On Automation Empire. And we're doing a little bit different things here at Gray Wolf Gaming. Uh, we're going to be playing a bunch of different games and doing kind of startup tutorials. Um, this one's going to be an Automation Empire. Uh, going to do a quick wake up. Uh, new colony. We got to give our new colony a name. Um, how about AU? Auto me. Now. Here's something that you can do or not do. Start mode gives you a couple of robots and this and that and the next thing. Challenge mode if you turn it on. Um, if you don't make your quotas, you're gone. You're done. But let's start the game. And you gotta get a little, I don't know, construction style start. This is a very, very, very good game as far as using of the facilities in your computer. It's very light. Um, it's not a big draw on anything. And you start off with one truck, one piece of conveyor belt, one, one box maker, and one uh, coal mine. Okay, which isn't, you know, it isn't the worst in the world. Um, center mouse button gets you to move this way. Uh, your W, S, and A and D. Your up and down mouse buttons can make you float. Uh, you can run your scroll wheel in and out to zoom. Uh, stand, pretty standard game controls. Uh, I played this quite a bit, but let's get started. You got a bunch of icons down here. This is your build menu. This is your status. In other words, this is how much money you got. This is how much research points you have. Uh, this is the day, and this is how many robots you have. Up here at the top, this is what you're doing, okay? Uh, this is research that you're doing. Uh, this is the tree, the tech tree that you need to get going. This is what you've made the last three months or projected for the next three months, I should say. And this is what you actually made this month. Uh, this is what your um, items cost that you make. Uh, actually, what you get paid. Uh, this is formulas on what and how you know as you know you need a certain machine and certain items going into it have any questions here you go um, if you've made it to the three month 4500 kilogram or 45,000 kilogram uh, goal um, the mission objective 30,000 to get you know Plus, and then you have your in and out field of view, all of that good stuff. Um, field of view is just, you know, it. We can go in there. The graphics, as far as this game goes, there are several different maps. So, you know, let's jump into it. Now, this is the basic setup. You get this little guy here. And he needs a lot to do. Okay, so we're going to hit conveyor belts. We're going to go down here on the conveyor belt that he's dealing with. And to get him moving, we need to get a surplus. Okay, and when we get a surplus hanging out here, we actually, these are $2,500 a piece, so they're quite expensive. But it takes six to build a truck. And we've got four. 
So, now while he's waiting so politely for a box to come out, uh, once the truck leaves, he can build up kind of a stockpile. We're going to improve that stockpile. It's uh, not real expensive to build, but it's not, you know, the first thing you want to do, you want to start increasing your production. <coughs> and the first thing I do to increase production is get some miners down. So you would think miners would be there. They are. There's a miner. And we'll drop him in. And these are mine carts. This is how you're going to get your products to that box maker. And we're really going to move that box maker real quickly. It's going to take us probably 10 or 12 trucks. We've got 47,000. We might be able to do it. Okay. But what we want to set up is a way to feed that box maker. Actually, let's let's do it this way. We're going to put a box maker down. You always got to watch the arrows. Okay. That's the throat kicking out the boxes. But you always want to watch the arrows. Let's put a box maker down. And it's only 15,000, so we're going to put one down. Notice it doesn't have power. You don't want to put power to it right away. Because if you do, it's going to sit there and grind out empty boxes. You don't want to do that. And we need to feed it. Now the little arrow says that's how we feed. And we gotta have a stockpile behind it. And we gotta have a way to feed the stockpile. Just like so. Now there's a method to my madness here. Me, I don't run straight track. I just, I don't ever do it. It usually is not going to happen. Half the stuff I do is never straight. But what we're going to do is we're going to set up, we're going to turn a little bit here, because you want to hit that little opening right there. Because if you don't don't hit that opening, you are not getting anything out of it. So we want to hit straight track, and you can switch it just by hitting E. And we're going to hit straight track, one underneath it, and I'm going to change some stuff. Uh, let's get our track running down first because I want to try something. I haven't done this before now. But the simple fact is I haven't tried it. And I've played the game. I've got quite a few hours in this game. And this is one game when you pick it up you get everything back. All your money it comes right back. So don't feel, you know, weird that you got to tear something up because I'm here to tell you, I've tore stuff up. I've put stuff down, tore it back up, put it down again, didn't like it, tore it up. And sometimes the controls feel a little hinky. Uh, we're going to actually going to hit power lines. I'm not setting it down yet. Because I don't want it sitting there just grinding out boxes. So we'll stay there. We've got enough money to hit 
hit that one. Uh, connect to that. Spin around here. We want it to suck it up and send it in. And mine carts are expensive. They're $2,500 a piece. So we do need some. Okay. So you're going to click on the track. It's probably not going to pick up from the one with the box maker on it. But it is going to pick up from the one down here because it's running. Now we got two mine carts. So we're going to take a move down here. Make sure both of them can get under it. running past both of them. We got a cart uh, coal coming out there. We're going to let him fill that truck. Need one more. And then we get rid of that. We build the same thing over here. But this gives us a few minutes before the next truck shows up. That is making ore. Now your truck is showing up and your doing your thing you have to set a priority on this for the little robot to come get it and notice we got quite a few boxes right away so he's going to be able to just run over there and tag that now we got 48,000 and we've got ability to have four robots and we only got one so we're going to go get some robots. You don't have to tell them what to do. They know what to do. When you put them down, they just take off and run. They are relatively stupid. And I mean stupid. They're a box of rocks. Okay. But they do the job. If you notice these three already have a box in their hands, this one doesn't. I mean, he, he's ready to rock and roll. As soon as that truck pulls in, hits the little pad, they're all going to take off and run. Now, you can make money doing it this way, but your biggest suggestion is to start doing your research. And you're going to say, well, you know, how do we research? That's all right. Down here in this first button is Research Bay. You can get more bays to allow you to have more robots. This is where I get torn. I want production to increase first. Okay. I really do. I want production to increase first. Simple fact if you got the money, you can pay for the research. That only cost us ten thousand, but it gave us room for four more, four more bots. That's what you want. You want more bots. The more bots in the beginning of the game, the more money you're going to make. And we need to take a turn around here. 
and get our money back on that. So now we got quite a bit of money. We can buy four more bots. All right. Now we got eight robots. When a truck pulls up, it should only last a second or two before it's full. We've got two miners feeding the cup and we're cooking with gas. Okay, we've got 15 to 40 in there. It's always nice to see those full, but this is not our production material by a long shot. Ores will get you started. Coal is probably the easiest one, so it's probably going to be the first one you do. Okay. Now. You can do it this way, or you can do it your way. Me? I kind of like to improve my storage while thinking about what I'm going to do for research. Okay. And between tubs or between your storage containers, it does not matter which way the arrow goes. Only when going into a device. And the game is pretty rude. It'll tell you when you're putting it in the wrong direction. So what we're going to do is we're going to put three tubs down. Hopefully that's going to be enough clearance. It is barely. Because you need one between there. We could drop that right there. <coughs> it costs 10000 We're going to drop it. It's already connected to electricity. You can put another one over here. Getting a couple of these moving is a good idea. But you see we've got a gap there. And it's not connected yet. Which means it's not researching. But we got to get research points in order to get some of the stuff we want. So. Grab one of these little bad boys. And watch what happens. It won't let you hook up. Why? Because you got the arrow point in the wrong direction. Voila. It's hooked up. Now it automatically feeds it. No matter how hard your boxer is running up here, it's going to give that thing everything it needs right away. Okay. It will keep it full. And it will keep it doing research. It'll convert the material coming in into research inf information, which is converted into R. And this is how much you've done so far. Um, the higher the research values, the more research points you get. Now, we want to get our production really rolling. So, we're going to come up here and we're going to short the train for a second. Which we may be able to pull this off before it gets back. We did. Oh, my lovely telephone. Telling me I have a message. Drop another miner on this one. We're going to set it there. Reason being, we've got five, four coal nodes. We got one here, one here, one here, one here. Uh, we're going to make a corner here and go back up. You always got to pre-think a little bit. Not a lot, just a little. This game does not require a huge amount of brain power. Now we have three miners feeding our system. Kind of should tell us something. 
And what might that be, you ask? That might be at another car. Can we have the 2500 add another car? You don't need to have a string of cars 40 miles long to fill coming off of these miners. Usually it's one car per miner. Later on in the game you're going to need two because your production is going to kick up. That's when you add your water to it for lubrication. Uh, you can turn the miner on and off. You can turn the carts on and off. There's a lot of stuff you can do. I mean, you can you can tell this not to feed that car, and it'll sit here and stockpile. Uh, it'll stockpile to ten, and it stops. So I don't suggest you do that unless you're trying to change something around or get yourself situated in the game and I'm just laying down miners left and right because I got money okay doesn't hurt to fill them up doesn't hurt one bit now One there, one there, and we're down to twenty nine thousand. When I first started playing this game, I ran myself bankrupt a couple of times, and it was because I tried to build too quick. Uh, I tried to get more research going because the faster you get the research done the faster you get more money because you're going to change products uh, but building a factory and all of that gets expensive I found out that to grind a little bit on uh, coal ore was what I wanted to do because simple fact is core brings a little bit of cash in but it's not super hard to get done now we made a loop this is what you really want to do on the mines you want to do a loop uh, you can do a two-way highway these automatically reverse you've seen that uh, but I do a loop and we're going to add another car just for sake of an argument and our track is not complete up there because you saw it reverse now it is and we've got this is the basic beginning now we're getting out production we're building a stockpile okay we're building a stockpile now that's three times seven so that's 21 that's not just seven that's 21 so you always times it by the barrel okay and we got research going it's almost ready to claim and you don't need a whole lot in the beginning, but we've got an issue. We've got robots standing around, and we're actually filling up on our production. Hmm. We need to up our production, make more money, and but we need more transportation. So here's where... The truck tool comes in. Truck tools like so. And I'm doing this so you can see how I do it. Okay, you can start here. Not a great idea. Okay, you've already got an entrance over there. All you're going to be doing is extending room to put another pickup station because you don't have any room here. Okay. There is absolutely not enough room there. 
So, we have to move the exit. What I do is I pick up an exit, spin it around to where it's going to go. I already know this map. I played it quite a bit. And I'm going to go over here, and I know there's more mining. All right, there's metal. Actually, it's iron. And I want to come up alongside of it, but I want to be away from it a little bit because I've got to put miners and uh, other stuff down. And I know from previous experience that I can get away with putting it right about there. Same with your roads. You turn them, yada, yada, yada. You can lay out a big road to there. It tells you how much it's going to cost. You know you got the money for it. And then you're going to convert. Take that elbow out. And you're going to put down the patch to get it through. Now your truck's got a little bit longer distance to run. But now, you have the ability, as soon as that truck gets off of there, to put another truck stop down. And that's what you want to do. Okay, you can overlay certain things in this game, and it works. Now, here's something that you're going to really need to know. This is your drone priority. This is what you're shipping. You can tell it none and give it a specific thing that you wanted to transport or you can just hit all and it will pick up whatever's on the conveyor and throw it on the truck. This also increases the frequency of your trucks. It'll keep your uh, mines busier. It'll also get your uh, product to market quicker. Okay. We have a manufacturing problem. You saw when that truck pulled out, there was only two of them on the sled, or on the conveyor. And that, and I told you that the robots are stupid. You see them running into each other? They're just plain flat stupid. Anyhow, what we're doing, we're doing good, but we're running out of product. We have a surplus of product in our storage, but we're running out of product. So we really need to take and do an adjustment. We need to put another can down, and we know they got to be one apart. And we're going to take and we're going to hose that in. We know that the box maker sits in front of it, and we know we need to connect them. Now, this one filled up partway because we added a, uh, a uh, tube to let it go across. We put down another box maker and then we can add another conveyor. And getting it right to the edge of the road is not a bad thing. We give it a priority for our little guys to grab stuff. And now we're loading two trucks quickly. We also have upped our production by 50%. Or 100%, excuse me. So we've upped it by 100%. Each box maker will make boxes at the same rate. Now you can turn box makers on and off, but you cannot change the rate in which they produce. In other words, they're going to put out one every three seconds. Now we're doing real good here, but what are we forgetting? We have research going and we can claim that, but what do we need? to get our first 
and this unlocks the refiner and factory. We need 20 and we got 38 so we're going to claim that. Now we're going to unlock it. Next thing we're going to need unlocked is the step conveyor. Without the step conveyor, there's not a lot you can do as far as factory manufacturing. So you need another 45,000 to do your manufacturing. And we've got 19.4. So we need to actually up that. And we'll do that by doing more research. We've still got a surplus of material. Okay, so let's drop another research pod. Okay, drop one, connect it. And then we need something here and we need power. So all we have to do is set a power pole. And off into the races we go. Now we've got two pods. <coughs> getting us the lovely research that we need so that we can make more machines. The more research you do, and this is this is the whole scale of the game. The more research you do, the better you can buy stuff. I mean, there is, you know, the monorail. That's a good thing. Um, the rocket ship is a good thing. Uh, the greenhouse and stuff is in game. It really um, moves you up. Uh, that's how you make ethanol. You got to have greenhouses. Um, the create gate that's necessary, and these are the requirements. Okay, if you notice, there's no requirements on these two. But when you start stepping off in here, you got to have that much production. Uh, you got to have that much production, that much coal, and that much iron. Okay. So there's each one of these has to, has a criteria, and in here, uh, this is the speed of your carts when they're elevated. Okay. Only when they're elevated. This is the speed of your claw train. This is the speed of your robots. First one you want to crank to the top is this one. You know, speed your robots up. Then you want to get your uh, more multiples on your carts for your long distance hauls because you're going to connect every one of the nodes on this map. And this is a quite large map. Zoom out on it a little bit. Get down a little bit. Map goes all the way over to the hills over yonder and there's resources all over it. It's a square, more or less, but it's good size. And you're going to build factories to refine product to put out. Um, you got trains, and the trains are really good. Are a little slow on loading, but guaranteed to make you happy when you see them go out the tunnel and that big old cash money floats in. You make money pretty quick. The thing is not to get too excited with building right away because getting exciting getting excited with building um, you're gonna run yourself broke and if you're not putting out product and you're out of power and you got to put down a new power station uh, and you don't have the money to do it um, not a good thing suggestion is to build a grid uh, this is your first power station, and it puts out 40. Uh, you can overrun it, and it will shut your power down. Um, early in the game, I usually set another one right alongside of it. It automatically hooks up to your grid. 
and all you do is right click to get off of that now you got 80 for power and it's feeding in off that one pole and I mean you know you can keep running that string wherever you want to go wherever those power lines go you got power so now that we've done this is the basic this is to get you going now that we've done this we've accomplished our goal my goal was to show you how to get started and how to make money get yourself a couple of truck stops in there for your loading trucks get your production up to where you're putting out and get your research going these are the key core things of um, automation empire that you need to do you need to do it carefully but quickly um, the more trucks you got going out the more money you're making the faster you're gonna make money uh, right now at this point I always add in another truck station this gets the frequency of your trucks up okay once you put in that third truck station you are on your way to making yourself an automation empire uh, I do love this game for its simplicity it doesn't take a lot of thinking you know it takes some planning but it doesn't take you know when you're not brain straining on oh geez I gotta hire this guy I gotta hire that guy I gotta do this I gotta do that no 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 simple production okay and then refinement uh, next segment I'm going to show you how to build a refinery to refine the ore down into coal uh, I'm going to show you what I believe to be the most efficient it is a zero loss in other words it doesn't destroy boxes full of coal it is a zero loss refinery uh, you can do this with any of the ores uh, it's a little slower therefore you need a larger production base but in the long run uh, it pumps the iron or the coal or the iron or the gold it pumps it out without destroying any of it which means more product more product going to market makes you more bucks so hey this is this is gray and gray wolf gaming Appreciate you coming in. If you've enjoyed the tutorial and you've learned something, hit a like, hit a subscribe. Hey, leave a comment down there in the section. You know, uh, you did it too slow or you, you moved too fast. I didn't catch some of that. Uh, I tried to move at a pace to where anybody can follow the video and do the game at the same time. You know, you, you don't learn anything from a video that where somebody goes through and this this and this is how you do this and this is this this how you do that the video is over okay five minutes doesn't work uh, because you're going to be scrolling through the little red bar down there at the bottom going what do you say how do you do that well, you know uh, my trademark uh, is night night See you on the next one.